In this brief video, we look at key issues relating to weed management in spring barley. Cone weeders are an option used mainly on organic farms. They can be very effective on shallow fibrous rooting weeds such as chickweed, provided the weeds are small. On farms that are not organic, they rely mostly on herbicides and weed control can be pretty simple, especially in malting spring barley crops where the lower amounts of nitrogen fertilizer give rise to less vigorous weed growth. Problem weeds such as blackgrass and bromes tend to be less of an issue um, in spring barley and this helps in the battle against these difficult weeds. This chart, which is from a series of our trials, shows how small the yield response to treatment can be on arable farms. It shows that earlier treatment gives the best response. Feed crops on mixed farms can be much more weedy and annual meadow grass can be a particular nuisance and yield responses can be greater. Annual meadow grass slows harvest, particularly in a wet year. It produces seeds of quite low dormancy that on mixed farms can germinate if the field goes into grass. In a grass sward, annual meadow grass reduces the output of the sown grass species by up to a half. Residual herbicides can be used in spring barley to control annual meadow grass. They are mostly off-label recommendations. The catch with these is that the soil is often quite dry in the spring and they need soil moisture to work. This is particularly the case with pendamethalin. Flufenacet or prosulfacarb based treatments can be applied post-emergence when the animal grass has just one or two leaves. This may be a better option in a dry year. These residual herbicides also give some control of black grass and brome. Wild oats can be an, an additional issue to consider. If not controlled, wild oats can dramatically reduce yield. And they also shed seeds that have quite high dormancy and can germinate in future years. Pre-emergence triolate can give very good control of wild oats. It requires a special applicator to spread the herbicide granules evenly. Post-emergence herbicides are widely used and can be applied once emergence of wild oats is complete. They are effective on quite large wild oats. Any uncontrolled wild oats visible later on should be rogued to prevent seed return. Turning to broadleaf weeds, ALS inhibitor herbicides are widely used and mostly can be applied from the crop 3 leaf stage to grow stage 39 and they are active at very low dose rates. The alternative is to use a synthetic auxin mixture such as dicamba mecaprop MCPA which may work out cheaper. The mix can be very cost effective but timing is tight between the 5 leaf stage and growth stage 30. It's important to stick to the, um, these timings. Newer synthetic auxins have more flexible timing. For instance, haloxifen methyl can be applied from the three leaf stage to growth stage 45. Herbicide resistance is another issue to consider. A mixing of ALS type herbicides with the synthetic auxin herbicides is a good option to help prevent resistance developing. Some populations of chickweed have become partially resistant to ALS herbicides due to over-reliance on this single herbicide group. So mixing of herbicides from different groups helps prevent resistance developing. Undersown crops require special consideration. If the spring barley is undersown, then there are fewer options for broadleaf weed control. It's important to check that the broadleaf weed herbicide is safe to the undersown grass and the crop. Fluoroxide Floxipire mixes are one option in grass only undersows. If it is a grass clover undersow, then fluoroxipire can't be used because it would kill the clover. And in fact, most other herbicides can't be used either because they damage the clover. However, 2,4-DB plus tribenuron mix gives good um, broad spectrum weed control of broadleaf weeds in a grass clover undersow. 
The final thing to consider is pre-harvest glyphosate spray. This clears up any remaining meadow grass and other weeds and is a very effective in controlling the cooch grass. Timing is critical to minimise the risk of residues. It should be applied from when grain moisture has fallen below 30% to seven days before harvest. Before applying it, check with the end user. It can't be used on seed crops. More information can be found on the Spring Barley Weed Control technical note that can be downloaded from the SRUC website.